Hi everyone, today I'm going to do the boys version of the Arabic alternative names to the top 10 baby names in the UK so far for 2019. So I did a girls and today I'm going to do the boys. So the reason I'm doing this is because um, if you like the top 10 baby names and you, but you can't have those names because you need to pick an Arabic name, I've, I've come up with like an alternative to those names so that you can go with something that's Arabic but also have the same sort of sound if you like the sound of those top 10 names. So I'm going to do the boys, I've already done the girls so I'm going to get started. So at number 10 is the name Aiden and instead of Aiden how about the name Adlan and it's spelled A-D-L-A-N and it sounds like a surname rather than a first name and I really like that. I wanted to pick names that I could imagine using or like I can imagine a little boy being called that. So yeah Adlan and it means fair and just. At number nine is the name Jackson. This is the name I really struggled to find. I couldn't find anything that was very similar, nothing that I liked enough that was similar. So instead I found two J names that I like, that I think that you might like, and I can imagine little boys being called them. So instead of Jackson, how about Judah? Because I know the name Luca is really popular, and that sound is very, very similar. Judah, Luca, it's very, 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 very similar. So I thought that you guys might like that as well. And it means, it's, it's spelt J-U-D-A, and the meaning is goodness and excellence. And if you didn't like Judah, how about the name Janaid? J-U-N-A-I-D, and it means soldier and warrior. Number eight is the name Logan. And instead of the name Logan, how about the name Laylan? I love this. I think this is my favourite of all the top ten. I think if I'd have found this name, this name, I don't think I'd have named my son Noah. My, my little boy, my second son, he's called Noah. If I'd have found this name, I think I might have gone with this name. I really like it, Laylan. And it's spelled L-A-I-L-A-N, and it means two nights. And number seven is the name Ethan. Really difficult, this one, but I found the name Callan. Although it doesn't sound very similar, it's still got the end the end sound. So um, Ethan ends in A-N and Callan also ends in A-N. So it ends the same. And it's spelled K-A-L-A-N and it means greater, bigger, senior. Number six is the name Mason. And I really struggled to find something, but how about the name Michelle? M-A-S-H-A-L and it means light, lantern and torch. And number five is the name Lucas. So it's a Lucas, how about the name Lubaid? I really like that one, it's probably my second favourite. And it's spelled L-U-B-A-I-D, and it means, it, the meaning is just old Arabic name. Number four is the name Oliver. So I really struggled with this one as well. The boys' ones were very, very difficult. The girls' was easy, the boys' were really difficult. But Oliver, instead of Oliver, how about Ira? E-I-R-A, and it just means kindling to start a fire. And number three is Elijah. Now, although this name is acceptable to use um, as an Arabic name, if you, if again, if it's too popular because it's at number three, how about the, how about the name that means, the, it basically has the same meaning and it's um, another form of Elijah and it's the name Elias and it's spelled E-L-I-A-S and it means Allah is my God. And number two is the name Liam. So, is it a Liam? How about the name Liban? And I like that one. I can imagine a little boy being called that. Spell this. It's spelled L-I-B-A-N, and it means successful. So it's got a really good meaning. And number one is the name Noah. And my son's called Noah, and I really do regret calling him that because had I known it'd been that popular, I wouldn't have gone for it. So I found two names actually. So instead of Noah, how about if we switch the letters around? So we've got all the letters of Noah, and we add a J at the front and we have Jonah. That's still so nice. It sounds very similar, Noah, Jonah. Very, very similar. It's spelled J-O-N-A-H, and it means sullen. And if you don't like that, and you want something a bit shorter, Noah, how about the name Asra? So it's very, very similar to Noah. It's got that up at the end. So yeah, Asra spelled A-S-R-A, and it means river of paradise. So they are my top 10 alternatives. I hope you like them. Let me know what you think. Um, and I'll speak to you for another video really soon.